We're at CES at the Hyundai booth, and a big part of CES is the future of how you're going to integrate with your car. Uh, we just got a demonstration, but nobody wanted to come on camera, so I'm going to now demonstrate some new technologies uh, that Hyundai is thinking about for the not too distant future about how you might control your vehicle. Let's take a look. All right. So, uh, so one of the first things is rather than having a key or even uh, pushing a button, a uh, clever little knock thing. If you look right here, it's supposed to knock like that. Let's see if I can do it. I'm not, I have low expectations for my ability to pull this off. Okay. It worked. Okay. Uh, apparently for the moment, I'm, I'll be Emily Johnson. Uh, the big deal with this one is that there's this infrared detector right down here uh, that allows you to do sort of uh, cool Minority Report style sweeping gestures. Let's see if I can do that as well. Oh, wait, no, I've entered tutorial mode. I've already screwed up. Uh, okay. Hand. Hand. <laughs> it's working. Okay. And it's turned off again. the future. Once again, I'm Emily Johnson. Welcome to future connectivity system. This time we will not enter demo mode. Oh good, I'm alive. 72 beats per minute. Okay. Look, I'm doing it. I'm not touching a screen and I'm going back and forth nice between one. things. Yeah, let's do that. Life log. No, let's Navigation. go further. Uh, the other way? Yeah. Life log. Yeah, life log. And then you can still touch the buttons, uh, touch the screen like you would. Okay, so check this out. If you go to navigation. Navigation. So, there we are. I'm going to recent destinations. Watch for this. Wait, wait for this. I'm going to go to the Starbucks now. Oh, here it happens. Start. I feel like we need to be playing like the final countdown or something as this thing moves skyward. So one of the nice things that uh, that they're showing off here is the integration of the watch uh, with the driver. So as we're driving along here, one of the things they're demonstrating is that, uh, oh, I'm driving along and I, there's somebody in my blind spots. Look on the watch. Turn right. It's vibrating right now. You can't see that, but I can feel it, that there's this vibration happening. So you have a little bit of a haptic feedback experience as you're cruising down the street, which is kind of cool. It's actually a lot less creepier uh, than GM's thing where the, the seat vibrates. I'd much rather have my wrist vibrate than the entire seat vibrating um, if there's somebody in your blind spot. This will continue on for a while, so we're going to do a, a jump cut to me sitting in that seat. Okay, now that I'm over here on the passenger side, uh, there's a similar infrared detector on this side that allows you to do interesting stuff like point, <coughs> point, there we go, and uh, make selections. So let's go with locator, and then check this out. I'm gonna go to the Clark County Public Response, whatever that is, that's the destination, and then I believe I can fling it over here. So as a passenger, I can select stuff while the driver is presumably driving and uh, then send the destination over here. So, oh, hey, person sitting in the passenger seat, find me a Starbucks. I can do that, fling it here. Again, minority report style. I'm sorry, you're gonna hear that a lot while we're here at CES. And now we're driving. Oh, technology, isn't it grand? I think the big takeaway is that uh, this technology isn't mature or necessarily ready for the open road, but it does give a sense of the potentially cool things you could do uh, in the not too distant future when you're driving your Hyundai or a lot of other cars. CES, the future!